Hello, my name's Peter Wilson, and I'm from a company called Kovalec, based in the East Midlands in the city of Leicester. We are one of ABB's AVPs, and we specialise in the area of motor and motor sales. So the question that's being asked is, why do motors fail? Well, there are several reasons really, but they can be broken out into three main specific areas. Firstly, heat. Secondly, water ingress. And the third one is either incorrect sizing or improper installation. Heat comes from many factors. The loading on the motor, the ambient temperature the motor is running in, mechanical stress, even the thickness of the paint. So, what does the heat do to a motor? Basically, it breaks down the insulation system, putting it under stress, causing it to fail. 51% of motors, however, fail because of the bearings. Now that could be down to a lack of lubrication or even an over lubrication. But it's important that you use the manufacturer's specification to lubricate the motor properly, bearing in mind how the motor is mounted, the speed of the motor and the type of bearings installed. When it comes to the cooling system, it's important that this is maintained, the airways are kept clear and the motor is kept clear of debris. The second point of failure is water ingress. Water enters motors from various points, but the main one we've found is through the cable gland. Wherever possible, good practice should be followed, which is to bring the cable gland in through the bottom of the terminal box, therefore preventing water from running down the cable into the terminal box arrangement. This we find mainly in the food industry, where they do wash down for hygiene. Thirdly, the cause of failure is down to either the incorrect sizing of the motor or the way the motor has been installed. It is always good to follow good engineering principles when installing a motor. So whether you're installing the motor using pulleys and belts or direct shaft to shaft coupling, it's best to use some kind of alignment process to ensure that the stress on the bearing is kept to a minimum and prolonging the life of your motor.